We are live here in La Follette in Freeman Park in downtown and the sun is starting to reappear here, getting a little warmer here. Now here in La Follette, one of the best known music musicians is Howard Armstrong, but he's known to the world as Louis Bluey. He was actually born in Dayton, Tennessee back in 1909, but he was raised right here in Campbell County. His nickname, of course, was Louis Bluey. As we mentioned, he was one of our country's best known black musicians. He played the fiddle and he performed at two world fairs in Chicago in 1933 and in Knoxville in 1982. Armstrong was awarded the 1990 National Heritage Fellowship by the National Endowment for the Arts. That is the United States government's highest honor in folk and traditional arts. Now here at Freeman Park, Armstrong is honored with the music pathways. And I don't know if you can see behind me, there's a little sign behind me that says Tennessee Music Pathways. That's part of what's happening here at the park to honor him. And joining me once again is Bill Claiborne to talk more about this Louie Bluey Festival that celebrates him, right? Yes, it's a wonderful festival. I'm wearing the beret in honor of, of Howard, who always chose to wear a beret. Uh, just the most eclectic uh, uh, artist, uh, painter, and uh, we celebrate him with the Louis Bluey Festival. And uh, I call it the Mardi Gras of the mountains huh. because, uh, you know, he, he could speak seven languages, play 22 different instruments. Wow. You know, his first uh, language was Italian, and we just had the Tally Town Festival for the Italians. That was the first language he learned. So he went, went to Chicago for the World's Fair, right? So he's there. And he played in Italian bars uh, with the Tennessee Italian he learned here. And he learned other languages here too. So he became very um, adept at being able to uh, change gears, play a German song for a German audience or Italian for Italians. And so what we try to do, the Campbell Culture Coalition, this is several years now since we had the homecoming for Howard that we started the festival at Cove Lake State Park, is to have a representation of that eclectic blend of art and music and so, you know, you, you never know what you're going to find when you come to the Louis Bluey Festival. It's sort of like him, you know, just yeah. he, he could do it all. And uh, so we're just uh, we're thrilled that he grew up here. He came here, his family, because of the boomtown, right, of La Follette, uh, when the, the coal and the iron was going strong. So his family moved here like so many others. And uh, this is where he, he first started playing music with homemade instruments. And uh, Grace Moore, the opera singer, was up here in Jellico, and uh, she encouraged him. So uh, there was a lot of uh, things about this area that really uh, went into making him such a uh, uh, a world-class artist that we celebrate today. Well, we are glad to learn so much more about him, so thank you so much for explaining that. We appreciate it.